Good evening. I am back and I am done for the day. When I tell you I have at least 10 mosquito bites, that's what I mean. I have never been bitten by a mosquito this early in the season. And I'm dirty. I got to get in the shower. These mosquitoes have torn me up. Let me show you. Here's one bite right here. You can see the redness. Hold on. If, you, if I can get past the dirt, because I got dirty today. And they were back there at the back. Uh, uh, it's not focusing, so I don't know if you can see it. Uh, all I can see in the camera is dirt. <laughs> Believe me, I am a mess, a hot mess. Okay. All right, let me show you what I ended up doing. So let's start at the front. So uh, I'm practically done until JD gets the greenhouse up. I don't think I can go any further. Okay, so I got most of the leaves up here. The rest of them can compost. The side, I'm going to blow that again later. And you know the bu fruit bushes are going to be moved. And I might mulch, end up mulching that side because I want that to look pretty. That's actually space where I can grow more stuff. So... I don't know. I might do something with that. That might make a good sin uh, garden too. That area. Okay, so I got over here. Y'all already know about this. And the flowers are coming up. Uh, I cleaned some of the leaves out of this bed to prep it for the cold crops. The garlic over in these two tables have not come up yet. So, okay. I've got a pile of leaves here that will go into the bag. I blew off the former greenhouse rug because I'm going to be pulling all that up tomorrow or the next time I get out here. I, I'm going to probably rest tomorrow. Okay, I did get this whole area, y'all. The leaf blower actually did most of the work. I did a little bit of breaking, but not much. Okay, so I got all the leaves blown from around the trees and the corners along the shed. And as you can see, the flowers are still here looking good. I've got to pull some weeds. So once I pull the weeds, that'll be that. My two daisy, I mean not daisies, my two uh, tulips are looking good over there. Okay, this corner I couldn't blow out because it's a lot of wood underneath and it was too heavy to blow. So I am going to have to pick up all that wood and I'm going to have to haul it to the front. And I'm just going to haul it and throw it at the curb. If it sits there all summer, oh well. But it's got to leave here. I've got enough sticks for the fire pit to last forever. And I can't accommodate any more because I don't want any more hornet's nests starting. But I'm going to get that corner finished off. That's all that's left. Okay. I used the leaf blower. I blew along the rocks. See all the new flowers there? And this is going to fill up. You're seeing spaced out flowers for now, but because the leaves were covering, now that the leaves are gone, I've, the next job is to clean out the weeds and that should be easy enough. So, and this hasn't been cleaned out in two years. So I'm gonna have to get those weeds out of there so that those flowers can come through because they don't bloom until August. I still need to blow a little bit in between the rocks. I just did what I could because I was getting ate up by mosquitoes, but it looks good, doesn't it? And as you can see, flowers go all the way along this whole pathway. So I just blew the leaves up here. The lawnmower mulcher, I'll get some of them to throw into the keyhole garden for uh, phosphorus. And uh, the rest of them can be mulched up. And, uh, but the ones, it's, the ones down there will probably go in the bag because they had already started composting. And then this little area over here where you see the flowers coming up, they're actually going to, uh, the flowers are going to extend. They just started. The flowers are going to actually extend all the way to that tree and beyond. So that whole little area is going to be full when it's over and done with. So I've got to get that piled up. So that's next. But I'm happy with the progress that I made today. I'm tired. So I'm going in so I don't get bit by more mosquitoes. And look what I found, y'all. Let me show y'all. And this is a Q-tip for you. Until I can do what I need to do, there's nothing I can do. So I stuffed it with some grow bags. Look at that big giant hole. That came from a, uh, either a gopher or a mole. And I had that problem at my last home. And I got a tip from a homesteader uh, when I saw a video about moles. And it said that if you put juicy fruit gum into the hole, 
the mole will eat it because it's sweet and it will block their digestive system and they will die. So that's what I'm gonna have to do before my whole yard gets full of holes. Okay, so tomorrow I will need to go and buy some juicy food gum for that. Okay, so I'm heading back up here and I'm gonna go in. I got the green beans cooking. I still have to cook the chicken, but I'm gonna rest an hour before I cook it. So I'm probably not gonna start with that till about 7.30. I know it'll be late, but you know that's been the that's been the problem lately with me. This time change. I've got a lot of trash to throw away too. That can stay. I just hope we don't end up with a windstorm. Otherwise, those leaves are gonna blow right back down that hill. So hopefully the wind will stay calm. And hopefully when that rain comes, you know, it won't be windy because the wetness will soak those leaves down. Then I don't have to worry about them blowing. So anyway, so that's next on the agenda, getting the leaves cleaned up, those that aren't gonna be mulched, and getting the sticks, including those on the table there, hauled to the front. Once that's done, I'm ready to roll because all the rest of this junk that you're seeing will be inside of the new greenhouse. Okay, so that's it, y'all. Part three, it might be a part three. Oh yeah, it will, because I have to tell y'all about the furnace business, and that'll be short too. So anyway, goodbye, y'all, and have a wonderful day, and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.